Welcome everybody. My name is Andrew Flax and I'm an Associate Professor of Anthropology and this is Ecology All Around Us. We might think of ecology and nature as one of those things that is out there somewhere, something really pretty that we can discover off in the jungle or in the desert or at the top of the mountain. In the field of anthropology, we study the human experience in all of its great diversity across time and space. And a lot of that has to do with this question of what is human and what is natural. And one of the beautiful things that we come to learn through this study is that there is nature, there is ecology all around us. We've made it in the past, we've inherited it to the present, and we are making it every day for the future. One of my favorite images that I like to bring up when I talk about this is the one that you see behind me here. So much of this is beautiful nature, right? We see fun animals like these big horses up in the foreground. We see beautiful verdant plants. We see different kinds of habitats if we look out into those woods behind us. But with a little bit of knowledge, with an understanding of the history behind that ecology, we can understand this as a human-made landscape, or at least a landscape that's made in partnership with a lot of human activity. Look around this area that you see here. We've got all kinds of grasses that are kept at the height that they are and kept at the diversity of plant species that they are because of the horses that are coming in and grazing from them, because of the goats that walk around in these fields, because of the human footsteps that walk around and maybe we get bored and we take a nap and we roll around in one pile of these grasses and move some seeds around. We can look down into the valley out in front of us and see this collection of, of houses and these tree lines, all of these planted and maintained by people. These bare landscapes maintained by people through things like fire management and selective grazing. These natural border lines of different habitats, what ecologists would call ecotones, really biodiverse areas because they're these mixing of grassland and forest land and what an ecologist would call a riparian habitat or a stream habitat, bringing in to connection all kinds of insects and plants and birds and mammals. And of course, people managing this at the center of it all. Tree lines, village habitats, farm spaces, all of it the result of hundreds of years of human habitation and thousands of years of this co-evolutionary process of domestication, selection for different kinds of plants and animals in combination with human activities and human desires and the lives of those plants and animals. If this is a little bit hard for us to think about with the human species, consider one of my favorite animals from this area here in northern Indiana, the beaver. Beavers spend their lives chopping down trees with their teeth, making dams, and the result of those dams ends up flooding river areas. This changes the landscape around them. It introduces new possibilities for plant and animal species. And really importantly, it introduces new possibilities for those beavers' kids. Just like beavers, we humans are ecosystem engineers, and that means that there is ecology, human-made, all around us.